right, today we're gonna be doing the clutch basket on an RD200, so stay tuned for that. Here's what we have for the clutch. We've got um, the friction plates right here, clutch plates, and then we've got these little, what are these called? They are called ring cushions, so they're like plastic rings, I guess. <laughs> um, we took apart the clutch because these plates were sticking together, which is really bad. I already took them apart, but now we're going to put it back together. This is an RD200 uh, RD from 1975. So, they get pretty old, pretty bad, but you don't really need to buy a new one. You can just clean them, oil them, put it back on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, what we're gonna need, plastic container. Best side right, right now. I'm gonna use 10W30 because that's what goes inside the motor or the clutch. Um, I guess you can oil it with other oil, but let's try sticking with the oil that works for the motor you're working on. Okay. Now, for the RD200, um, the first plate is the clutch plate. So, we're going, we're going to fill this container up with oil, dip this in there, let it sit, put it on, and repeat the process over and over until we have a full clutch assembly. So, let's do that right now. Okay, so we've got um, the cl clutch plate in the oil. Letting it soak for a little bit. Take it out with your hand. Should just be, don't like drench it with oil. It's fine if you just coat it. And we're just gonna place that right in there. Doesn't matter which way it goes, as long as it fits inside those gaps. It'll be good. So just like that, slide it on there. Nice and tight. Now we grab friction plate, repeat the process, dip it in the oil, right here, get that coated really nicely, oh yeah, forgot that, okay, you don't want to forget these rubber pieces that go in between, so grab one of these, Coat it with a little bit of oil. Don't need a lot. And then you just go right over. Be stretch so it'll fit right on there. Now grab the friction plate again. Coat that, put that on there. Now these have the ones that go in between here, so just push that on, make sure it's all the way tight back. Okay. Now the next plate that goes on is the clutch plate. So you just repeat the process until you have a full clutch basket. So we're going to do that right now. Make sure everything's tight. Um, just kind of move it back and forth. Push on it. So all the, you have some space right here. Okay, now that we've got the clutch together, we're going to take the other parts, um, the springs and the plate that go in front of it. We're gonna put that on there. I'll show you how to do that too. So take these out. Get all these out. Okay. Don't forget about this ball um, when you're taking apart, apart the engine. Um, this is really easy to lose, so look for that. It goes right in here, so just be sure to keep and hold on to it. Okay, so take this piece right here, and it goes this way. So the ball goes like that, and I'm going to put that right in here. So the ball goes in first, and then that goes. Push it all the way in. The rod that comes through looks like... Charlie, want to go grab it? This one? Yep. This rod goes all the way through, and when you 
when you um, do the clutch, this rod pushes against these plates and these plates expand, so that's why, and that lets the gears move, and that's why um, neutral is neutral. So put that rod back in there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take this plate, clutch plate. Um, you don't have to line it up with anything. It just goes on. So there's no markings. If there's a marking, you'd have to line it up with the arrow on the marking right here. Some bikes have that, some bikes don't. This one doesn't. So um, you can just put it on however you want as long as it lines up right. Let's see. Like that right there. So that's in. Now we've got we've got these springs um, with a screw on it. And these just go right here. We've got um, one, two, three, four. I think we've got five of them. So one each one goes in there. So you can just place those all right there. We're gonna start them off with the screwdriver first and then you can drill them the rest of the way through. So, grab a screwdriver. Um, you might grab that big one. Grab a screwdriver, so, and then we're just gonna start driving them in very slowly. So, you wanna start, you wanna go opposite of each other. So, if you do that one, if you do this, if you do this one, you either wanna do this one or that one. So you have the tension going to other places besides the one side. So the clutch plate is even. Now once, um, you want to tighten them all the way down until they get tight, but you want to keep on rotating, or not rotating, but um, what's it called? Switching. Uh... Keep on um, going back and forth between the two. Pretty soon, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to screw in the screws any further. That's when you know you did it right. Okay. Tight. You don't want to tighten them too much because then you won't be able to get them back out when you need to. So just give them a snug until you can't spin them anymore. Okay, all of them are tight. make sure they don't come out. And the last thing I like to do is, um, you've got the motor out. Um, I like to, you gotta take some 10W30, pour a little bit on, just so that you know the whole clutch is oiled. It's really important to have the clutch oiled. Otherwise it won't work, your bike won't work. You have to take apart the engine again, buy new gaskets for it, and go through that whole process. So you wanna make sure it's in neutral and you can spin it around. Um, while you're inside the motor, you might as well check for the gears. Um, if there's any, you wanna zoom in maybe? Here, zoom in. Check, the, check these gears around here. If there's any wear on them, you can tell, or any shavings below the motor, you know you're gonna need to replace this. Um, the clutch, you can tell, is bad if these plates are sticking together and when you take them apart, um, it's fraying. Um, if these are rounded, these really sharp corners on here are rounded, you can instantly tell it's bad. So the plates wear off pretty quickly, the friction plates at least. And uh, I mean, they're pretty cheap. You can buy a new clutch anywhere, really, so I would just do that before you have to spend money on gaskets and a whole new rebuild for the top end and everything. You might as well just do it right now. Um, but yeah, that's how you put together a clutch for an RD200. Hope it helped you. So uh, next week we're going to be doing um, the pistons. We're going to be doing the bearings in here, pistons, the top end, the cylinder, um, the heads. We're going to put all that on. The motor is going to be reassembled. We're going to put the clutch cover on, all the gaskets on. 
um, everything's going to be done so the motor will be able to be put back into the bike. Um, hopefully next week we can even try starting it up. So that'll be exciting. So stay tuned for that. That'll do it for today. Hope it helped you. Yeah.